Oh, it was a power here with a review of the Commodore Revice DX Revice Driver. Gosh, I got that title wrong. Anyways, this is the main transmission device of Commodore Revice, or Commodore. Let's just stick with Revice. Obviously, um. I don't have the box for the individual release because of the next two videos. Obviously, you get the Revice driver itself, the, the Rex 5 stamp, and the belt strap. The belt strap, obviously, we can get into right away, is simply the Jiku driver straps, just now in this teal blue. So now the watch motif is just oddly here now <laughs> it's again very jarring of when like they just reuse these belt straps because <laughs> now they no longer make sense anymore and obviously ever since zero one uh here's the belt buckle of the sengoku driver or the back buckle which obviously you simply have it like so. So, yep. There's the revice driver as a whole. Before we move on, we have to address a weird thing that they're doing with these belts and is that they actually modified the size of the uh, right strap because as I as I pull out the Omageo driver because Riken does not take care of this at all <laughs> as you can see you can definitely tell when you link or when you line up the main base, they cut off like an inch, which doesn't make sense. <laughs> and then if we like, you know, like the left side is still the same, but like they decide to, for some reason, gosh, shorten the right one I feel like it's so then they can force people to actually buy those extenders <laughs> because as you saw what I just did now the like the biggest giveaway of them shortening this strap is that obviously now you can no longer line it up to the first two. You can only line it up to the second and third one now. So, yeah. Uh, you just have one notch just out. And it's kind of annoying that it's uneven. Woohoo. So, here we have the revised driver itself. Um, obviously, it's a... As you can see from here, um, it's from a top view, it's very thick, all because of the uh, stamp screen. But overall, it's like the thinnest driver we've gotten because just because of later stuff. Like, here's the Jiku driver, <laughs> which was, you know, technically the last thin driver we've gotten. It's definitely. You know, a lot thicker, and even like it's even thicker than the Ghost Driver, <laughs> just by a little bit. Um, but like other than that, um, it's it's a really small driver as a whole. I do like the color scheme of it. Um, just you know the teal blue, the translucent purple and the chrome pink 
and then we got this neat gradient right here. Um, there's not really much in the back. This is the battery compartment. It requires two AAA batteries because as you figure out when we turn it on, it just lights up <laughs> and such. And obviously the biggest thing, which I'm, I'm personally not too big on this. I feel like this is too in your face. There's obviously a molded 5 and 0 to be 50 because of the 50th anniversary. I don't really think that was necessary, but alright. <laughs> obviously, uh, it comes like this in the box, which this definitely helps, uh, you know making things a bit more reasonable and such. So obviously there's arrows, three arrows to tell you to push it out like so. As you can see from here, there's a peg for later stuff. And as you can see from back here, there's not really anything. There's a latch here, how is it because of how this entire thing works and then if you were to press this button on the side this will actually unlock or remove screen like so and as you can see here now you get the magnet doodle gimmick and such as how this works you simply you know when you flip it up like so this doesn't react however as you can see when when you put it back into the zero formation I will say it will, this part will flip out to reset the screen in quick succession, like so. And there's all that. And basically, this is kind of tricky to uh, set back because you have to really, you have to, you have to get this side clicked in first because this is not the side that actually clicks. Which this side doesn't like clicking in. So then it just starts lighting up because I click, I pressed down this thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's essentially the revised driver. Uh, it doesn't really do anything on its own. It just simply lights up and such because of the next thing. So here is our gimmick for the year. The vice stamps, which are just gigantic bottle like stamps, they're definitely unique stamps for sure. <laughs> um, because of my poor lighting and because it's too bright, um, as you can see, the main base of the stamp is like this light blue with or this like baby blue with very light blue marbling. I will say this. The marbling on the majority of mine are really poor. Obviously the marbling is supposed to be all around the plastic, but because of how marbling works, uh, it just doesn't look good. As you can see, for the most part, the marbling on my Rex is mostly on its left. <laughs> Speaking of the Rex, obviously the, you know, I guess the glass portion is purple with uh, the Rex here in this like hot pink. Now, as you can see back here, you can see somewhat of a design of Revi in the back. And then at the bottom, here you get the magnet. You press, you press it down of the Rex. And then the activation button, like so. We're back. Not back. We're still stuck with sounds with our gimmicks for four years in a row. It's really annoying. <laughs> and then QR code for Gomberizing and infrared sensor, technically. 
So again, just simply pull the pull tab. Speakers are on the side. Obviously, like, obviously you hold it like so, but because I can't do that in front of camera, we're just gonna have to quickly press the top and put my hand back here like so. So to activate it, just press this button. As you can see, uh, simply, it's just a, I want to say a white LED. Yeah, Rex is not that easy to actually see inside. But as you can see from there, I, I will say it's purple or pink. But as you can see, it just does the name. And then if you press this, it just simply just stamps like so. So that's basically it. Let's get the rewise driver. That was supposed to stamp the wall. Anyways, trying to put that down. To transform, obviously just activate the vice stamp. And you want to obviously stamp this, or you want to slot this section of the vice stamp into this square section, like so. And then after that, you just want to press the vice stamp down. And you get the standby of the vice stamp. Then you simply slot the vice stamp down this rail, like so. Then it will know the inserted. This lights up. Obviously, it will still continue that until you lever it. So there we get the transmission camera Revi and Vice. And you know, I like its simplicity. Now oh, that'll be it. I was as you can see the uh magna doodle copy what we have done. Obviously giving the mirror illusion. And I forgot to address this. I really do like the hexagonal feet like the hexagonal detail. They went with obviously just to match the magnet doodle but as you can tell uh the lights for the two of these actually lined up to each other as um that's really complicated basically you know this one lit up purple and this one also lit up purple and such but yeah uh with a vice stamp uh i think the driver definitely looks a lot more redeemable and definitely gives more color to the driver as now you got this white added and such but yeah uh we got a finisher so simply uh rotate it <laughs> like i don't know I hinge it back i don't know <laughs> so here's the finisher standby it, you can't really tell but this is actually paralleling between purple and white now and obviously, you just simply push it back in to do the finish. So as you can see, uh, you know, now it does a 7 LED light, which is pretty neat because it's been a while since we had a gimmick that did that and such. Uh, and then if we do that again and press the button, we hit the remix function, which you can just keep pressing. And just do this. So, with remix, that allows Revi and Vice to be combined into the Revice Rex. I don't know if the remixes have names and such, but. Yeah, that's basically it for this, so to, you know, cancel the transformation, just simply flip this back and pull the vice stamp out. And that's basically it. And the thing is that you don't need to stamp it, obviously you can just simply slot this in. So 
So basically, that's all because of the light sensor. <laughs> so obviously, from here, or you know, the vice stamp has a sensor here. The rewise driver has a sensor here. So basically, when the two lights interact. Obviously, he's very picky. <laughs> but basically, uh, this is a light sensor, just like the Kiwami crystal slash the Makoto crystal from Rube with the Rube gyro and such. Yeah, um, overall, my thoughts on the Revice driver is that it's kind of like, it's really just your standard uh, driver release. The one gimmick, very simple. Uh functionality it's not bad but like you know it's just kind of average i feel like the only th like the only positive thing i'll still say about these belts is that i'm happy that they're trying to be more innovative with just how the gimmick works with the driver and such again because of the fact for the most part the revised driver is actually correlating to whatever the vice stamp tells it to do because obviously it's the vice stamp that's sending the signal to the revice driver so obviously if the revice driver the the vice like you know for example the rex vice stamp tells the revice driver to you know pull out a purple led so then it'll follow that and then like you know when you don't press the button from then on, the revise or the vice stamp is going to tell the revise driver, oh, like you know, just follow this color coordination, so then they can be synced. And then when you press the button, it will just be okay. Now, like now, pull out this color when you push this back in and such. I really do like that. It's really nice that this time we've had gimmicks where they mostly take and hold rather than the driver itself obviously i'm phrasing this weirdly but this is like the first time where like the gimmick it's this is like the first unique time where like you know a gimmick tells the driver what to put out and it's not like by you know a pin system and such or like that this is literally the driver is literally like following whatever the gimmick is doing and such not like the gimmick tells driver to put out this pre-programmed thing so i really like that um the belt strap is weird <laughs> but other than that um very basic overall like i don't really have much <laughs> So that'll have to do with this review. So this is Power and I'll leave you people. Bye.